actually it's our first of the academic year, I should say. Uh, addiction Research Dissemination and Implementation Sustainability Discussion Series. Uh, that's a mouthful. Um, thanks for coming. Our first speaker is going to be Joe. We have a whole um, list actually for the fall. Maybe Shannon can tell us who that's going to be as the upcoming speaker. The idea was it came out of the Center for Addiction. Uh, but we know a lot of people in Department of General and General Medicine as well are interested in implementation dissemination research. So we hope that the series has a broad appeal. And if you have any thoughts about who you'd like to hear from, who does group work related to this, please let Shana know. Um, so Joe, uh, most of you know Joe, and if you don't, refer to your G Jim newsletter, <laughs> Impact Newsletter, which has a, actually a nice summary of everybody's come actually in the, I guess it's the past three or four months. Um, Joe's an associate professor and director of our practice-based research network, which is the NYU HHC CTSI network. Um, and he's actually uh, responsible for developing research that bridges NYU and HHC. Um, his interests in research include quality of care, patient safety, addiction screening and treatment, and implementation disability research. He came from the University of Kansas, uh, Kansas, Kansas sorry, Kentucky, College of Medicine and Public Health, where he was director of the Center for Enterprise Quality and Safety and founding chief of Division of Biomedical Informatics and the Lexington VA Patient Safety Fellowship. He was also chief of the implementation core for the Center for Health Equity Research and Promotion at the University of Pittsburgh and associate co-director for the research for the um, BISN4 Mental Illness Research Education Clinical Center at the Pittsburgh VA. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> so uh, I'm gonna. So this is the artist discussion series. So I would like this really to be discussion, uh, a discussion, and and uh, really make it sort of low key. So feel free to interrupt, have discussions, we can go off on tangents. Um, and I'm just gonna apologize ahead of time. Uh, I'm gonna try to end promptly because um, I have clinic uh, at down at Gouverneur, so I'll be hopping on the six train. Um, so. So we'll be able to hang out uh, after afterwards and, and hear comments. So, so you know, yeah, you know, basically, you know, my my career in, in research um, and in, in implementation research really has been with an overall goal, um, and it's basically you know listed here to prevent, detect, and treat drug abuse and addiction and consequences by integrating existing evidence-based approaches of prevention treatments. Uh, prevention interventions and or treatment services into primary care settings. My role in this uh, really has been interested in, in looking at hazardous drinking more so than other um, chemical dependencies. Um, here at NYU, um, we have sort of a wealth of expertise, and I, I'll describe uh, uh, some work that we're gonna, we've been talking about and actually uh, will uh, hopefully be submitting an application for shortly. Um, you know, looking at a broader approach to chemical de dependency. Um, I've always been interested in implementation also uh, as opposed to more efficacy um, uh, work because of the fact, the fact that I'm a primary care physician and I really want to, uh, you know, want to have these things work. I don't want to just be able to read about something that works really well in a very uh, specified um, uh, environment, but in sort of the dirty area of, of where I do where I do patient care. So um, I'll say a little, a little bit about implementation and translation. Talk about some of my prior work um, and introduce those concepts here at NYU. Um, so this is sort of the obligatory uh, slide about translational research. You know, you, you've also seen a, a diagrammatic, uh, uh, you know, slide showing that. You know, there's T1, which is mostly clinical efficacy, which takes basic science and brings it up into sort of clinical science or clinical efficacy. Um, uh, a lot of the work that we've done is T2, health services comparative effectiveness research, which takes sort of that effective that efficacy work and brings it uh, into a sort of more real world settings. Uh, also looking at different subgroups of, of patients and clinicians to see if something that worked in a more rigorous environment actually uh, can work when things aren't so rigorous. And then there's dissemination and implementation uh, research, which is you know, very much um, linked to sort of quality improvement and, and uh, you know, how to get uh, uh, systems of care or, or you know, prevention and treatment services that we know work. 
doing the work and implement it and really not have, have even less control than we did in the efficacy trial. Um, you know, and also uh, elements such as using existing data, not disrupting clinic flow, uh, using existing staff. You know, T3 is really more into that. 